Maybe. Well, in, I know in the beginning you guys were curating the content yourselves, mm -hmm. and that had to be a pretty arduous process. Yeah, uh, so, so somebody asked me before I came up here, like, how do you get over the cold start problem? And I think it's, that's actually one of the hardest parts about starting any business, is how do you get your first few customers? Um, for us at Reddit, uh, it was important that, you know, we're building a community. So nobody wants to be a part of a community that's empty, right? Nobody wants to be in a, in a, in a ghost town. So what we did is Alexis and I every day submitted all of the content. Um, I had a script that, uh, that I'd run that would uh, scrape a bunch of websites like Slashdot and New York Times and Boing Boing and this and that, and it would list all of the URLs that I had never seen before. And so on the first day, it was just a bunch of garbage, like all these navigational links and, and stuff like that. But on the second day, it was just all content. And so from then on, I would just run that every morning. I'd get a big list of you know, maybe 100, 100 new URLs, and I'd read them all, and I'd submit the good ones to Reddit. And, that, and, 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 and we had a special submit page, and Reddit's submit page at the time just had a, uh, fields for title and URL, and mine had a third field for username. So I could you know, put in the URL, I could put in the title, I could make up a username, and then when I hit submit, it would automatically register that user and then submit the content as that user. And so we just did that for the first few months to make it look like there was a community there. At what, at what moment did you realize there was a community there? Uh, yeah, that was in August. So we started in June. Sometime in August, um, I took a day off, and I don't remember why, I think I was just tired. And understandably, and, and, and at, at the time, the way the front page algorithm worked is only links that were under 24 hours old would be shown. So, and, and our front page was 25 links long. So if there were fewer than 25 links submitted that day, the front page would actually just start to dry up, right? It would just be white <laughs> because we didn't have 25 links to show. And that was a problem sometimes. Like on days where we were really busy and we didn't like submit a bunch of links, you might go to Reddit and there'd be like five links there. And so I took the day off. And at the end of the day, I had this like panicked realization. I was like, I haven't been on Reddit all day. Um, it's probably blank. And so I, 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 I open up Reddit and I look and it was full of content. And that was a really special day because that's when we knew that we had real users submitting real content. How'd that feel? It felt great. You know, the hair still stands up on my arm when I tell that story. It was a really kind of special moment. Because at that point, we were, up until that point, you know, we limped into Y Combinator. We, you know, everybody around us was much smarter than we were. Um, I know that also at one point you were kind of pushed out of the nest to even put Reddit live, right? Yes, yes. Um, yeah, we, we were, um, you know, we had a special relationship with Paul because of how we got in. And so he was always just badgering me, um, you know. Largely, his, his, his advice was directionally correct. Um, and it's still kind of the cornerstone of why Combinator's advice is launch soon, right? Launch as quickly as possible, because that's when you start learning. And so uh, he would just, every day, every day, and I'm like, Paul, it's been like two weeks. Um, and so uh, he sent me this email at one point that was like, I don't know why you haven't launched. This is on June 22nd. We started on June 1st. He was like, on June 22nd, he was like, I don't know why you haven't launched yet. Um, it's either because you're not capable of doing it or you're just waiting until it's perfect, and I don't know which is worse. And I was just like, kind of mad. And also, you know, this is like my idol, like kind of chewing me out a little bit. And so I sent him a link like the next day. I was like, here it is. And it's like, I sent him this link that was like running off my laptop of like the first version of Reddit. And then like two days later, he wrote a blog post about startups or something, and he linked to it. And so I had this screen uh, next to my main monitor that just had the error logs for like when I was developing, and all of a sudden it just starts scrolling really, really fast. And it's because Paul launched us without telling me by linking to Reddit from his essay. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so when, now that you have the community uh, and it's starting to grow, what sort of things are you... You're looking at your users. What sort of information are you getting from to iterate on a platform, and what are you learning? Um, you know, there's lots of uh, there's lots of I guess kind of theories about like product development and, and and this and that. We weren't really collecting data the way like you would now. We barely knew how much traffic we had, um, but we were users, and so a lot of what we were doing in those early days was just following our own product intuition. Like, what would we like to see? 
and or sometimes users would be asking for features and they'd have a good idea and we'd do that. But often like users don't ask for the feature the, the correct feature, but they're but they but behind their request is a is a problem. If you can kind of figure out what that problem is, then that's a good starting place to think about what should I be building. And and, and so there's you know a million small things. Uh, one of the example, one, an example of one of the, the biggest ones was a. Uh, it was a little bit later. I think it was that fall. Um, we had uh, what users would do is it was after we added comments. So the first version of Reddit didn't even have comments. So we added comments, which of course the first comment was about like this is the end of Reddit. Um, <laughs> uh, and what what users would do is they would submit a link to the comment page for itself. Because the ID of each link was in the URL. It was just a counter. And it still works that way, right? You go to reddit.com slash r slash subreddit slash, and there's a number there. Um, they would guess what that number would be for their post, right? They'd take the newest post and basically add one to that. And they'd submit a link to the comment page for itself. Uh, and so it's like a self-referencing post. So instead of, because at, at, at the time, everything on Reddit was a link to some external site. Um, and so this would create a link to a comment page, which was pretty cool. Now, occasionally, like, users would, would get it wrong or two links would be submitted at the same time, and so they'd submit a link to somebody else's comment page. Um, but this is where, like, Ask Reddit started. Right? Users would say, Ask Reddit, and they would just link to an empty comment page, and people would answer. Um, and, and so, you know, we saw users doing this, and it was kind of technical and confusing, so we made it a little bit easier. So instead of having to guess at the URL, you could just type in self in the URL. Um, and that would make automatically the self-referencing link. Uh, self-referencing link. And now these days, those self-posts are 60% of our content. Um, and, and that idea, I don't, we, wouldn't, we would have never built that on our own. We built that because the users were already doing it for us. 